Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from Clicks Geek, and today I have a case study for you for a family law lawyer. Last 30 days, dozens of leads generated. Pretty awesome. Check this out. All right, all right, let's get into it. So we're looking at the last 30 days of data for this new family law client, right? March 21st to April 19th, 2023. You can see here we have our campaign and then we have all of our, you know, big hit stats that we want to kind of showcase and then we'll go into the campaign ad groups keywords, all of that stuff, devices, we'll see where all the traffic is coming from and kind of dive into a little bit. And I'll show you guys how you can do this too, how you can copy this. Or if you're a family law lawyer and you want us to clone this winning campaign and roll it out for your practice, we do that all the time. There's a link in the description. Make sure you fill that out. And if your territory is still available, because we only work with so many people in certain markets, then um, we will contact you and we can roll this out as soon as 24 hours. So check that out. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get through this. So this is a family law practice. They are spending a hundred dollars a day, Monday through Friday only. So a very uh, healthy marketing budget, not anything crazy, right? Because we have guys who spend a hundred a day, we have guys who spend seventy five, and we have guys you know who spend five hundred. It really depends on the size of the practice. They cover family, uh, family law, divorce law, adoption, and paternity, and I think a few others. I think custody. We'll have to look when I go into the ad groups. We'll kind of dive into that a little bit in a minute. But first, let's go through last 30 days stats here. 298 clicks, 6,000 impressions, 4.92% click-through rate, which is just under five, which I want to be at five. But again, this is the first 30 days, so all of these metrics will go up. Average cost per click, $7.54. Extremely happy with that. That's a low cost per click in the legal niche. Total cost for the month, $2,246. And they've gotten 51 leads, right? So 51 people who inquired about getting a consult consultation with this uh, law firm in the first 30 days at a cost per lead of $44, which I'm extremely happy with in the legal niche. Uh, I would like to probably get that into the 30s as we optimize this and move the conversion rate up higher. That will drop down into the 30s. And the conversion rate for the first 30 days is 17%. Again, not where I really want to be, I want to be over 20%, but we will bump that up in the next month and um, that will go over 20 easily. Impression share top, which is just how many times the client's ad is in one of the top three spots in Google search results when someone searches their keywords is 80%, which is a healthy number. I'm good with that. The total impression share is actually really low. It's 13%. So essentially what that means is out of every 100 searches for our client's keywords, our ads are only showing up 13 times. So we got to get that at least over 50, and that's something that will come into play in the next month. And the reason is we're not going aggressive with that right now is because we have a really good balance of volume of leads and keeping the cost per lead relatively cheap, right? We could easily increase our bids, get more impression share, and probably a few more leads, but the cost per lead could skyrocket or double, and that's what we do not want to happen. That's why this is a balancing act and why you need somebody who knows what the hell they're doing with Google Ads to uh, manage these for you. All right, next up, let's dive right into the ad groups and we'll see exactly what this client's going after and then we'll go into the keywords and if you stick around to the end, I will go into the devices and we'll see what where this traffic's coming from. Is it cell phones, is it desktop, is it tablet? And we'll, uh, we'll identify the uh, highest converting sources. Okay, so let's go into the ad groups first and then we'll start going through everything. Click the campaign here. We're gonna go into the ad groups. You'll see exactly what we're going after and we still have all of our stats here broken out by ad group. So family lawyer, Houston family lawyer, we have a bunch of this clients uh, in Texas targeting a bunch of different geos like Galveston, Sugarland, Houston divorce, spousal support. So those there is geo ad groups in here. <clears throat> so let's go through the topics first before we do that. Family lawyer, child support lawyer, divorce lawyer, custody lawyer, adoption lawyer. And then we have a bunch of geo ad groups, spousal support lawyer, alimony lawyer, and paternity lawyer. So those are the, the high level topics that they're, or I should say services that the client is targeting. Then we have a bunch of different uh, geo ad groups mixed in that haven't got really got, really got much action yet. Probably because it's just still a brand new campaign. So we can tell here our biggest performing ad groups are child support lawyer and family lawyer. So that's pretty interesting actually. Oof, this, this guy got crushed here with the Optimization teams have to pause that. That's why the cost per lead so high. This one ad group dragged up the whole thing. <clears throat> Let's actually go in there real quick while I have you guys here because I want to see what did that. Yeah, that's got to go off. 
20 clicks here for that no conversions so see this is a uh, what optimization actually looks like right so i'm going in here and I'm, I'm pausing keywords that got a ton of clicks spent a lot of money and didn't get any leads now going forward all those clicks will be saved all that money can be allocated towards the the leads that actually get the uh, keywords actually get the conversions so just a small optimization tactic there and obviously our team will go through and do all that and they do on a weekly basis but they probably didn't even get to this that uh, this week yet all right so those are the keywords and you can you guys if you want to pause this you can take these keywords put them for your own campaigns use whatever you like and they're all i mean they're basic keywords right if you're chances are if you're running a family law google ads campaign you're already targeting stuff so the real magic is in the landing page and having people actually call in get a consultation with the client or yourself your own practice that's what uh is really gonna move the needle for you the keywords listen everybody this is not brain surgery anyone can group keywords into the correct ad groups and use all these basic keywords the real magic is in the ads and the landing page and the ads is just talking about the keywords and ad groups that you're using and then making sure that message match is carried over to the landing page and i know if you guys watch my case studies before i i repeat this all the time but it really is what makes google ads work and you'd be surprised at how many people do not have message match from their keywords ads to landing page and then they wonder why they're paying 500 dollars for a lead in family law right i mean that's just what it is you got to make sure that's in line all right so next let's go into let me move my head here devices because i want to see where these leads are coming from let's go into devices okay oh wow so we have a huge disproportionate amount of leads coming from cell phones which is what we want you want cell phone leads okay because they're just in general they're better quality leads we want phone calls not really too much form submissions that's what we optimize our campaigns for is going more towards mobile because um form submissions notoriously are hard to get a hold of it looks like we've got nine desktop computer leads or just computer leads whatever at seventy dollars per lead so that's on the higher end and our cheaper leads are mobile and that will obviously come down the more we optimize yeah i think we should have no problem getting this client leads under 40 bucks into the 30s that shouldn't be a problem at all just a little bit of optimization we should be there you know what i'm curious let me take you guys into the conversion actions i want to see if out of these 51 leads how many are phone calls and how many are forms all right so it looks like we got seven contact form leads and phone call 44 okay so a huge proportion of these leads are phone, inbound phone calls uh the phone call action this is actually just someone who sees our ad clicks it goes to the landing page and then calls one of the tracking numbers on the landing page and our hook here i think is free consultation or something like that with a lawyer so 44 inbound phone calls and seven contact forms submitted to um, request a consultation with our client no call extension leads which is strange I'm gonna have to go through that after I get off this video and see why. Because usually we get a bunch of call extension leads too. So something interesting. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Again, if you are a family law practice, you want us to clone this winning campaign and roll it out for your practice in your location, just submit that application in the link below in the uh, description of this video. And if you are a agency and you need to roll this out for your clients, then you can Go through this video again, pause it, look at my ad groups, and just copy what we're doing. Make sure your ads are on point, and make sure your landing page has a great hook and is nice and neatly laid out.